Hey everybody, Vestmore here, and today we're jumping into The Division 2. In this video, I'm going to be giving you the ultimate guides to keys, where you can find them, what they do, as well as a really efficient route to pick up as many as possible in as short a time as possible. So if you enjoy this, be sure to leave a like. Also guys, comment down below, let me know what your gear score is, let me know what your favourite gun is, just anything. Let me know what's going on for you guys in Division 2. Also, we're still running that giveaway for a limited edition Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu Nintendo Switch. So guys, if you haven't already joined that, be sure to check that out in the description box down below. Cool, getting right to it. We have the pressing question, what are these keys you speak of? Well, essentially, hidden around the world, there are these caches. Each faction has a cache. You can find Hyena, Outcast, True Sons, and even Black Tusk caches. And by default, those are locked. You can't actually unlock them to get your loot unless you have a corresponding key. The really cool thing about these caches, however, is that some of them actually drop exotic components, which once you collect all of them, allow you to craft super powerful weapons that have crazy stats and talents. So essentially, that's what these keys do. Now you might be wondering, where do I find them? I'm going to be giving you guys an awesome route that I found that allows you to gather a bunch really quickly. However, the general rule of thumb is if you see on the map here, there are these icons that look like down arrows. These show you the location of underground entrances. Now, some of these just lead to things like safe houses or mission areas. However, most of them lead to sewer systems. Now, I have searched about 60 to 70% of these. So I can say with certainty that if you eventually end up in a sewer system that looks something like this, there's most likely a key box or two hidden on the wall somewhere. Those look like this, by the way. So, assuming you complete the routes that I lay out for you and you still need more keys of a certain type, just keep in mind that you can look for these underground entrance symbols and explore them yourself to find more keys. Anyway, now that you know what keys are for and where to generally find them, let me show you the route that I took. So to start, we're gonna go over here, right next to the Roosevelt Island Stronghold, and we're gonna climb down this ladder. And once you get into the sewer system proper, if you take a left and go down the hallway just a ways, you'll find the first key box. Pick that up and continue down into the sewer system until you get to this room that you can see here. On the right hand side next to this water barrel is the next key box. Continue through the tunnels until you get to this door with the red light above it. And then take a right. In the middle of the tunnel just next to some valves on the left hand side is the next key box. From there, turn around and go back towards the door with the red light. If you do a 180 and look in the corner, you will find another key box on the wall. From there, head into the door with the red light and that will lead you into this large open room. If you stick to the left, you'll find another key box. From there, you can move to the next area on the map. Same procedure as the first one, climb down this ladder and follow the tunnel round to the first key box. Keep going until you get to this room here with the two lights on your left and behind the first light, is the next key box. From there, continue until you see this room on your left, and inside, right at the back of the room, is the next key box. Then begin making your way back to where you came in, until you get to this door here on my right. On this pillar is the next key box. Move around into the next room and be sure to hug the right wall. There's a key box right here, and another one a little bit further ahead. Once you've done that, go through the double doors just to your left, and take a right once you've got out into the sewer system. Just before the ladder at the end, there should be a locked door. Shoot open the lock, and inside, on the left wall, should be the last key box in this area. If you then go to the point shown on the map, once again, climb down the ladder. But this time, make sure you take a right. Head through to the first chamber, and on the left-hand side is the next key box. After that, you just want to head all the way through the tunnels until you get to the other ladder. And right next to it, on the back wall, is the last key box in this location. Once you've grabbed that, you can move on to this next area on the map. Head to this next area and head through these doors to the cellar. You'll head through a couple rooms and eventually make it to another sewer system. Just to the right of the door is the first key box. Once you've grabbed that, make your way all the way through the sewer system until you get to this part here. The key box is on the left hand wall. Once you've done that, we can move to the last point of our route. 
Once you're down there, take a left and go into this room that you can see here. As you enter the room, if you look to your right, you'll find the next key box. From here, if you go down the other path, you'll eventually get to this base area. If you go down this right side and into this computer room, at the back, you'll find another key box. And that, my friends, is how you farm the keys to the faction caches. That should be plenty of keys, but as I said, if you still need more, definitely check out the other underground portions of the map. I'd actually recommend the area around the White House, as that had a lot of keys too. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do be sure to leave a like, and leave a comment down below letting us know what you'd like to see us cover from The Division 2 in the future. But for now, that's all. This is Vest, signing off. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.